Hello friends and welcome to episode 12 of my space exploration run. Between this and the last episode I fetched myself some oil, built up a little oil platform over there to finally craft myself some cliff explosives. I love that stuff, it's so useful, it's so powerful and I was so sick of having all these cliffs in my way. So I built a pretty, uh, well, temporary setup here to uh, to craft the cliff explosives right next to the beginning of my main belt because I just wanted to have the ability to form the terrain to my wishes. Apart from that I set up not too much except for some plans what will go what I'm going to need or what I'm going to deem necessary for my further expansion and that's quite simply a facility where we're producing motors, electric motors, and engine units. Maybe a few things in between that, but this stuff is so present in um, this mod. I took a little list here where I listed up the recipes of, well, sort of, a few different machines, stuff we will need, fuel refineries, fuel processors, chemical plants, assembling machines, and when I looked up that stuff, I notice here electric motors motor electric motor electric motor electric motor I didn't there's no recipe here which comes without motors so I felt like well we need belts of that and I came up with the setups for that but damn they are costly and if we want to have a setup with 15 motors per second um, well it is quite doable, sure, but this is 45 iron plates per second. I can't afford that. So I reduced my my needs down to three motors per second, and that's going to be the goal for today, I figured, to set up a small faci facility of engines and motors to um, get the industry rolling and set up our immediate or intermediate industry so the basic plan i had in mind was to set up the um, motors and engines here let's give this uh, beauty here a little bit of an icon and i'm going to create a probably pretty big facility here so um, the next one here will uh, be my mall area where I'll producing where I'll be producing all manner of facilities there's a lot of funky stuff in there so let's uh, use the um, assembling machine icon for that and this will bring me to the point where I will run my intermediate produce on this side of um, the factory which means well this side will be um, refining and this side will be well I don't know further refining I haven't made up my mind with this yet but these two blocks will hopefully um, not collide with the future plants too hard so let's get going shall we um, in between I was researching nothing too special only the few little basics you know from vanilla the um, electronics research to produce the red circuits oh, or that's not what I want oh well red circuits plastic batteries nothing too funky I uh, waited for the real fun stuff for the recording like meteor point defense we're going to need that because in this mod there's lots of junk falling down from the sky and logistic network interfacing well that's uh, only red science but i don't have so a little bit of weird thing to have only red science as a requirement when oh, well whatever electric uh yeah accumulator for the solar power pulverizer mm. so well that's a new sand recipe this uh, could make my glass production a little bit leaner and more efficient. Oh, yeah, here. I didn't even re uh, research it yet, so <laughs> silly me. But I want that pulverizer technology. That sounds fun. That's new. That's fun. And let's grab some new cliff explosives and get building. 
So, luckily the intermediates I have in mind are kind of like the least complicated uh, things on up my schedule. The things t uh, to come will be constructing, like constructing them all, will be much more complicated because, um, yeah, well, oh, no, we're going to copy this. This is way easier to do this. So, I'm going to let my uh, nanobots do the job for me. So much easier. Okay, I'm already on the height of the motor and engine block. Wonderful. So, I might as well continue this here already. So, not necessary, not necessary. But I will need more belts. So once the mall and the intermediate facility is uh, up and running, I will only need the new research facility and then I can raise down the starter base, finally. It's such a, such a colossus of a starter base, but well, we're, still, still, uh, we're still just getting started. I think one thing I might be producing over here might be circuits because that would be quite fitting yeah let's see man this underground here is so annoying it slows me down wherever i go okay so first off, this is the most simple procedure we can imagine. We only need like we only need iron gear wheels and uh, iron plates, and that's that. For the electric motors, I will need an extra input line of copper plates. But besides that, we are only basically producing well, motors with motors. <laughs> and for the engine units, we're going to produce motors to produce engines okay so maybe i'm going to uh rethink my procedure here a little bit and we're going to um produce like a facility for 15 of these buddies anyways i have an idea here or well let's not go too crazy here let's like let's make that nine that's a perfectly sane and uh, good amount this should be working quite nicely if I get it done properly. Okay, but nevertheless, this is 27 units of iron. And uh, does this need iron in its own? No, this is only copper. And these boys, do they need uh, iron somewhere else? Some intake from the gear wheels. Oh, I guess these guys too, huh? No, no gear wheels. Okay, so two belts of iron will be sufficient in the prime of if this thing is uh, running on full capacity so let's do this like that and that yeah beautiful so i'm grabbing here my my extra belts And these are going to be used. I'm well aware that um, my copper main belt will grow and this can't be staying like that, but well, for now it's okay. So let's mark, let's take that as the mark. The splitter marks the entrance of the um, facility here. So these are the two belts. Hmm. Might be as well putting that on a red belt in the future, but we're not quite there yet. So that's the iron we need. And then I'm going to put the intake of the copper over here. Let's run that like this. Full belt of copper. 
and some steel. Oh, I just realized uh, the copper is running uh, incorrectly. It's not smart how I did it there. I need the copper uh, much more down here. So let's uh, control X to cut it out and replace it down here. Also alloc allocating a stupid amount of copper plates again. Well, that's life. All right, that's better. Okay, and last part for this show will be the steel intake. All right, let's uh, put these rather close to each other for now. That's the pulverizer technology. Core mining, what the heck is that? Allows endless extraction of resources from planets and moons, but has diminishing returns if multiple are used on the same body. Consumes 50 megawatt. <laughs> Me wants this. So this is a, uh, an endless source of certain materials for me. Awesome, let's research that. And this will mitigate a few of my problems um, in terms of very far away lying patches and stuff like that. Ooh. So here comes finally the fun of the new mod packs. Okay, so let's start with a pin on that. Where's my pin? There's my pin. Good old finicky hell mod. It's a wonderful tool, but it's so damn complicated. For, uh, it, well, it's not really complicated, it's just finicky. <laughs> Hard to use. Okay, I'm going to pick up a few bricks. I'm handcrafting a lot of assembling machines right now because I don't want to um, rely on tier one assembly machines anymore at this point. Okay, so first off we're going to set up the gear wheel facility. This is a, a raw intake of 18 iron plates. Gosh, that hurts. <laughs> so we're going to output nine um, nine gear wheels which will get be used for the motors okay so i'm going to bring up the gear wheel production over here do i now well well i'm just uh considering how i want to do it well, that should that sounds so uh, quite my good. So let's take a turn over here. I hope this works out somehow as I have it in mind here. Okay, so there goes the iron gear wheel production. Uh, I guess there's, yeah, just as I, as I thought, a lot of rock crap in my way again. Okay. Mm, let's do some output on this side. Basic idea is to um, it will become quite clear in a sec. There we go. Uh, 
And we're going to have eight of these boogers. So that's uh, five of them. And this is uh, the best thing about that is uh, it's expandable. All right. So we're going to go crazy with this one. So these guys would need 2.6 long-handed inserters or 3.6 basic inserters. Oh my god. How can I mix those? If I would do that with fast inserters, yeah, well, let's do it like that. One like this and one like that. So I hope this will be uh, enough to take um, the necessary materials in. And for the output, I could go for basics. Okay, wonderful. So. Going to need to go one step more into this direction because if I didn't look didn't understand it wrong it would look like this okay so this, so this will be the motor section um, and the clue here is I'll intake I'll, I'll focus the intake here from from the iron gear wheels on this belt and it'll only get a secondary intake on this belt because this belt will be primarily used by the uh, motor factories. So if everything works out as I have it in mind we should be having a quite decent uh, throughput here. I'm, I don't think I'm able to really maximize it at this point because uh, I feel like I'd really need um, the red belts to um, get that ball rolling, but whatever, it's okay for me. So we would need, yeah, well, let's do that. It's a lot of basic inserters now. No, no, no. I need some room for uh, electric poles as well, and it's a true pain if you're leaving no room for electric poles in between. Okay, so, and last but not least, we're having now an output for motors. And this this belt will be the output, which will be used for the rest of the factory. At the same time, I will use these uh, motors, though, to produce my electric motors and my engine units. Because, well, that's just a too big of a thing to produce a belt just with raw motors for my uh, other facilities and pre-produce the motors on grid for the electric motors and the engines. This just uh, I rather produce a really big batch of uh, motors and cycle that um, produce through the rest of my facility. Oh my gosh, AI Industries is really, really, really um, quite um, hard on its uh, single parts. So, it's that. But at least once everything is up and running, we're going to have a solid infrastructure. So do I have everything I wanted up here? No, I wanted electric poles and some more belts because we're certainly not having enough here. Nanobots, I'm I'm fine. I'm completely fine with nanobots. So electric poles, but I really want to get rid of all these stones again. Okay. Core mining finished. Awesome. So I have this little chest here where I dump my stones. It's not really brilliant, but 
I'm not ashamed either. Alright, let's give this machinery finally some power because I was low on electric poles. There we go. What the heck am I doing? <laughs> can just grab the uh, power from up there. No need to put up another needlessly long trail over the map. I really work on myself to not produce these uh, endless power spaghetti lines anymore, but it's so hard. I love my cable mess. Alright. But at the same time, I just want to get a little bit more... I want to bring a little bit more beauty into my uh, factories, you know. Okay, so two basic inserters for the output. Yeah. Splitter up there works also as intended. And now we're having a nice steady supply of motors for the factory. Wonderful. Exactly what I had in mind. And the best thing about this, this is modular. I can just uh, switch in a few more gear, fact, uh, gear wheel assemblers and a few more motor assemblers until I hit the 15 uh, engine units. So I'm quite happy with uh, how everything worked out here. So, splitters. I forgot to pick up splitters. Oh my good goodness. The real nasty thing about AI industries is handcrafting is basically something you want to avoid as much as possible because it's just so annoying. Huh, look at them cliffs go away. Cliffs be gone. I like that. So the materials in a splitter, it's just a 28 um, iron plates. So where are my splitters living at? There. I don't like uh, the mess here either too much. Oh, I also have brought up my car. I don't want to drive with coal. I want to drive with this. Oh, finally. My car! I built this uh, before this episode. I somehow forgot to activate it. Well, I really love my car. My car is my friend. So, oh, it's only 20 cliff explosives on one stack. Uh, let's uh, open up that stash. Because there are way too many cliffs I want to get rid of. Oopsie. I'm sorry, boys. Okay, so now I have the first of the uh, the first piece of the puzzle together. So let's go uh, on to the electric motor block. So I can uh, cross off this section here because well, let's just take it out of the block. That's why I did all the pre-produce here because. I don't want to need that on my recipe here. Okay, that's a lot tidier. So here I'll just need 10 tier two assemblers. So we're going to assemble some copper cables and it's 18 units of copper cable again. It's so annoying. So I'll have to split up the production of the facility in two belts, but well, whatever. It's not really, really that horrible. I mean, so let's take this spot and uh, yeah, that's okay. So most of the time I just uh, get, let the copper cable facilities run into the motor facilities and uh, this evens out the spread, but well, in this scenario we're going to transport 18 units of uh, copper cable, no props. Just by doing such uh, baloney here. Or, well no, actually I'm going to do it like that, it's way better. If 
I mix them later. There we go. So, and one normal inserter on each facility there. And how much intake do they need? 1.8 fasts. Perfect. They would be outputting with 2.6 of those. So maybe I'm not even having enough inserters right there loaded right now. Gotta, gotta check that out in a, in a moment. Maybe I'll have to uh, put them like that, huh? So the fast ones won't be inputting, uh, outputting quick enough. Wow, it's uh, insane. So, possibly need that mix here. Let's see. Maybe this is uh, enough to make it smooth already. Okay, input will be done with uh, singular fast inserters. I have so many yellow inserters on me. Gosh. Let's do something out of that. <laughs> All right. And let's uh, electrify that. All right. So next up is a little balancer for this. Oh no, I can't. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not how it's supposed to work. Oh, seriously. Not like this. Oh. Okay. I'll have to uh, take some measures here. Wow. How annoying. Do I really get beaten now by this? So. I can't connect them uh, in this uh, narrow passage here, just like I want to. Oh man. So this would solve it for the moment, but no. So I guess just uh, it won't help. Just need to spread them bad boys across until I can manipulate it like here. And that's just what it is. Could compact that a little bit here, huh? But whatever. I don't mind at all. Okay. Next step is going to be what? Where do I produce the regular motors? I mean, it would be quite funny if I just uh have that funky intake like that. Let's check that out. Is that a possibility? So how's the ratio between these guys? So that's a heavy surplus on one of the these machines. Do I get that correctly? Well, so I, it seems to me that it would be quite uh, quite smart to uh, drop this uh, like here and uh, I might as well um, get this piece over here. So, there we go. Alright. I hope this is uh, working out okay. So, well, there's no need to run uh, that far.
Well, I really don't know why I uh, thought this would be a great idea there. <laughs> oh well. So, I'll just uh, take it from here. That was uh, some serious uh, brain lag there, just, I don't know, sometimes... Sometimes brain doesn't work anymore. That's okay. So, now finally to back to business. All right. I don't know why I had such trouble to to fidget that together, but whatever. Okay, so these guys go with these guys. And how much copper cable intake do these do, do they need? So they need 5.6 copper cable per second. That's obscene. All right, if we would try to do that with long-handed inserters, that would be five of them. Two and a half of them on fast inserters. Gosh. So. Well. I really should consider compressing this all into a red belt to make it more manageable. Because uh, I just realized how 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 much of a joke this is to try that with yellow belts. So get away! We're doing it simpler. Wow, that was uh, possibly one of the most. Uh, Unnecessary thinking processes uh, in a long time. I just wanted to try to make it look cool or something like that, I don't know. But uh, if I'm completely honest with myself, the easiest way to do this is just uh, to smack that red belt in and <laughs> forget about the rest. I have that uh, option. So. Because I just uh, realized when I tr when I uh, came to the question how to um, get that managed with the inserters, I I felt a mental br uh, a mental meltdown uh, happening here. So that's how we're going to do it. The intake of the copper cable will be managed by three blue inserters on every machine. There we go. And long-handed inserters are perfectly fine with this here. And we're going to have an output of these bad boys here. Outputting can be done with... Wow, we're going to need blues for the output. Nice. And that's that. Awesome. And that's the electric motor story. Oh well. Now to the engines. Um, last step. Although I think I could delay that a little bit because I don't need engine units uh, too much right now. I just want to get a foot in the door. So we're going to need the least of preparations here. Um, there's going to be what? One unit of steel, one motor, and a pipe. Seriously, pipe. Okay. Whatever. Um, where's the steel? And there's the iron. Um, I don't want to uh, touch the iron here because it's so um, usefully arranged here. I don't want to touch that. No, no. We're just uh, setting up one machine for the pipes here. And that's that. Wait a sec. We can do that even better.
That's good. So I'm going to fuse the uh, pipe with the steel. I just hope... Um, no, it doesn't work out like that. Okay. So there we go. We can just uh, meld the steel in this. And uh, now I'll, I want a pin on this. There we go. So the only thing I will need here is one facility getting me some iron gear wheels. So how to manage that? Well, I'm going to grab the stuff here. Or do I? Oh dear. I'll have to move that later. This will collide here with my extra belts. Although, I could move them a little bit, but well. But whatever might be the case, yeah, this is okay, but still. Well, let's make it, uh, let's make it like that. I'm okay with that. Iron gear wheels, there. So, intake of two fast inserters, output of one. Sometimes I uh, imagine calculating the needs of inserters manually in my head or something like that. And then I then I just stop. Okay, so we have this, we have that. We only need power for that. So the engines can begin quite soon. I might actually... Uh, split the um, engines here, uh, the motors, to melt them into the iron gear wheels here. What, what, what would be the other option there? I need seven facilities. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So... There we go. So, how do I manage that? I have an idea. Because if I would do this on this side, the iron gear wheels will be, uh, on another on the other side of the belt which will be much better um for my goals here so that will solve my problem just nicely watch it go so Looks a little bit odd, but it'll work. And there we go. So from this spot on, I'm able to output motors. Wonderful. So that's five of them and seven. No, that's the engine units. 
All right, almost there. And then we have today's topic down finally. All right. So these guys, please don't tell me they need uh, too hard intakes. No. Okay, great. So basic inserters are enough. Yes, wonderful. Finally, friends, finally. Whew. That was quite a hard ride to get all this uh, done. The production steps are really, really uh, lengthy, complicated, but oh my god, they feel so rewarding at the same time. I do like that, seriously. When I have this up and running in a sec, I'll feel great. So the only thing I already noticed which, which will go wrong is um, there will be a collision with my main bus. That's the first thing I already noticed. So the chemical science pack. Hey, <laughs> I'm already producing pretty much everything except for the red circuits. Awesome. <laughs> well, let's go for mining productivity. That's always a wonderful project. But apart from that, I'm there. Wonderful motors getting produced. So, there we go. Let's row them up together. So, the good thing about this is um, it's still quite modular. I can expand this row, I can expand that row, I can expand that row. I might be in the need to cut them apart a little bit and separate them and give them a few a few more grids of uh, breathing room, but that's the only real issue I'm seeing from from so, from this side so far. All right, friends, that's uh, the end of this episode. It's been a little bit more lengthy than I expected it to be, but whatever. I'm down with uh, this stuff. <laughs> Sweet triumph! Look at them. Look at them really close. All right, drop me a comment down below, friends, and uh, tell me what you think. And apart from that, I hope you enjoyed the ride. See you guys on episode 13. Goodbye.